Hello everyone, Pula Stylist here. I posted a video, well not a video, a picture of my yarn wraps the other day. Um, and a few young ladies wanted me to post a video of how I do them. Um, mm -hmm. That's my lock. This is about how thick they all are. Most of them are actually a little longer than this, but the ones in the middle are a little shorter. And these are the twists that I do. And I wear these. You know, I wore these for a while before I actually did the twist, the yip wraps, so they look a little much, a little older now. And these are the yarn wraps. And I have like two different greens in my hair. It's the yarn that I use. Very hard. The thing that takes the longest time is actually cutting the yarn. So I'm going to show y'all what I do. I learned working in the African braiding shops. And I think it is awesome. And it's kind of an exercise while you're doing it. This is how I actually cut the yarn to save time while I'm doing it. So that's why I like my clients to bring me the yarn a day in advance. Don't talk about my feet. My feet ain't ugly, but they're not done, so I'm not showing them. But here we go. And I just keep doing this, and it also helps you keep the yarn even. I'm back now, I've cut enough to show you guys what I'm trying to do keep it just like this and I take it right here and I cut it so afterwards it leaves me with a lot of yarn and it's usually even besides that one that I just cut off this is my lock like I said most of them are a little longer they come about right here so this is what I do I take six pieces because my locks are thick and I don't want them sticking out. I don't see one eating. So I usually try to get the yarn to be the fullness of my locks. But I use six pieces. Take my lock. And I just basically use this as my third piece. And I start braiding first. And then I just start twisting. Just as though my lock is like a normal piece of hair. And I just twist it on down. And you don't have to twist all the way down, especially if you're going to wrap. If you're going to keep the twist down, I'll twist it all the way down. And then that is yarn. I'll tie it, cut it, most likely burn my ends. Four pieces to wrap with because they're already thick. I don't want them any more thicker. Where's that one at? This is how I started. Basically, you know, not tie it, but just wrap it around it. And I just start wrapping. It's a very easy process for the most part. I really have my mirror in front of me, so I'm kind of using this as a mirror so I can't see what's going on really until I get down to a certain spot. But of course, I'm hoping there's no spaces. Nope, no spaces. And I keep wrapping all the way down. And then when I run out of hair, what I do is I just transfer this over. And then I start back, making sure I'm kind of keeping it really tight because being that my locks are thick, I don't want my locks to start thicking, sticking out of the, on the, especially on the ends of my ends. But of course, those who are wondering now, you see why I have mine so thick. And of course, when you run out of yarn, you just add some more and keep it going. Kind of more high up. And then I start wrapping again. So... You won't be able to tell where you started it over again. Um, excuse me, this is my first tutorial, so I think I'm doing pretty good. Okay, so I'm getting closer to the end now. I'm going to show you what I do as I um, get to the ends to close it off. So get closer to, so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm to the ends now, so what I do is I start wrapping upwards instead of in the downward notion, I wrap in an upward notion to kind of seal it off. Then I take this one piece, see that sticking out, and then I burn it. Then I just stick it to the side there, you can barely see it, and then I cut the ends off. And voila. Now, if you don't like that, you can still just hit it with it just enough for it to not, you know, unravel. 
and there you go yarn wraps over my locks it's a wonderful style you know for different colors so you will not dye your locks as much and kind of stunt your growth and thin them out and hair fall out or etc and it helps them grow and I just love colors and they're soft they're flexible they're not heavy at all um yarn has many colors like it's not heavy you know but y'all see why mines are a little big now but I just love them something to do thank you for the positivity